This is a three month review of the DJI Power 1000 power station, which is supplying power to this whole standing desk. A Mac mini portable monitor, the laser engraver. For those of you who are not familiar with this type of product, a power station is a battery bank that can produce regular AC outputs as well as DC outputs, such as USB ports. So you can charge the phone, tablet, or laptop when camping or when the power goes out and recharge it from solar panels or the car or the wall power outlet. More details on that later. I also use it to cut wood outside with the Dewalt table saw. This is a heavy duty machine that consumes well over 1,800 watts. Incredible high power draw when it's getting started. I've been using this thing for around three months now. A lot outdoor because I, I need to work outside um, with these engravers as well as these uh, miter saw, table saw to cut wood. I'm learning how to use this laser, uh, laser engraver and it produces a bit of smoke, uh, fume, uh, depending on the material I'm cutting. Therefore, when I'm away from AC outlet, this thing is, uh, is the best thing to have. In my opinion, it is the best value on the market considering its capacity, size, and power output. Last time I compared it with the um, EcoFlow Delta 2 and it has a much higher power output being able to handle two Dewalt table saw and miter saw at the same time and you can use it to cook when the, during a power outage uh, like air fryer, pressure cooker, or rice cooker. So basically it runs anything that you can run uh, with the home AC power outlet. It's the equivalent actually more than AC uh, receptacles at home. On the right side, I have a like basically I, I'm G4 stand with a portable monitor. This only consumes five to 10 watts depending on the uh, brightness setting. And the uh, Mac mini M4 chip is super power efficient as well. So these combined is uh, around 10 to uh, 20 watts depending on the setting. So this is really nothing compared to what this thing can handle. And the laser engraver is around 40 watts depending on the laser intensity uh, power output setting. Everything combined, it is displayed here. The output is around maybe 40 to 50 watts. And then the standing desk, when the motor is working, it's way down. It consumes a little bit less power and uh, that is around 150 160 watts when the motor is working its way up the whole setup is really uh, let's see it's uh, 80 100 226 watts max it will last me around uh, 11 hours and and this number is calculated in real time 12 hours at 79 percent output is 5356 watts so this is good enough to power a uh, large gaming PC and in the entire setup it should not be a problem and you will see the real time um, remaining runtime on the screen. The whole desk is powered by the DJI power station and I'm editing this video right now connected to the USB-C port. It can output 140 watts max on both USB-C ports so you can charge two MacBooks at full speed. And then the USB-A ports are great for charging phones or tablets. It's a great emergency power source backup to run kitchen appliances like a pressure cooker and an espresso machine. I connected a Toshiba microwave. See the power output? 1,623 watts. Let's make a cup of coffee here. Espresso. And I have a cup of espresso. On instant port.
we can use it and charge it at the same time. Plug in the AC cord. It's a pretty standard three prog. It recharges very quickly and quietly. Most of the time, the fan doesn't even turn on because it barely gets hot. Even when the fan is on, you will not hear a lot of fan noise. So this is great for a UPS as an uninterrupted power supply. Even when the power is cut off, the computer will keep on running without any problem. There's a very fast switching mechanism built in inside. There's a switch to turn on the fast 1200 watts charging or 600 watts slower charging. Dual AC outputs controlled by this one button switch. The USB ports are automatically turned on. AC input and the DJI proprietary SDI inputs for solar adapters or charging the drones. The main on off switch, press and hold to turn it on or off. There's nothing in the back. Very simple and efficient design. Oh, and of course the AC port is always available. Even when I'm doing solar charging, if I want to charge uh, large battery uh, packs from DeWalt power tools um, in this way, or if you want to charge uh, the drone battery, there's the uh, proprietary SDC port. But in, uh, in this case, you might want to add more solar panels, definitely. Otherwise, the battery will drain pretty fast and uh, dead in three hours. Using another battery to charge another battery is not the best idea, but if you have enough solar panels, it, it makes sense because it does pass through charging from the solar panel, from the sun, power from the sun to the battery bank as a uh, buffer, then it charges other batteries, of course. These two charging adapters are great to have for DJI power stations. The solar panel adapter module with MPPT support and the car charging adapter so you can recharge the power station in the car. Three screws, metal mounting bracket. Here we get the charging input, XT60 input. Three of these. Car charging adapter. XT60. The spec. 12 volts to 24 volts. 8 amps max. Output is 100 watts max. 20 amps max. 12 to 30 volts DC. The DJI Power 1000 is currently connected to tons of USB devices and a power strip under my desk. I maxed out the uh, USB-A to charge Apple Vision Pro, the DJI microphone, USB-C to USB-C connection to the iPhone 15, and the MacBook Pro USB-C to USB-C. Depending on the battery status, this number may change or decrease or increase. If these are fully depleted, then you will see a larger number. This power strip is connected down there. Then it is powering the Mac Mini and the Apple Thunderbolt display. 27 inch, uh, 1440p resolution. This is the latest Mac Mini with the M4 chip. The total power consumption is 84 watts. This is nothing compared to what it, it can do as a 2,200 watts of continuous output and 4,400 watts of maximum surge power output from these two AC outputs. This is the input, DC inputs. AC input for charging, 
power on off switch. And of course that um, portable monitor <laughs> mounted on iMac G4 is also uh, powered by the AC power output um, power strip. So that is my current desk setup. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this review helpful.